spent a whole lot of time talking about like this game, whether I like it or not. Because here's the thing. I've never played this one. This one, let me just do a quick check. Let me just do a quick check on like when these games came out. The Tasmanian Tiger 1 came out October 8th, 2002. The Tasmanian Tiger 2 came out October 12th, 2004. The Tasmanian Tiger 3 came out October 11th, 2005. The Tasmanian Tiger 4 came out July 24th, 2013. It's been a while between Tie 3 and Tie 4, and just about none of the story from Tie 3, or at least none of the story leading into Tie 4, uh, actually got implemented in this one. There was this whole post credit sequence at 100% completion for Tie 3, where, like, uh, Julius's uncle, Carlos, shows up and takes... What, what's her name? Something I'm forgetting. Fluffy's tail away, as if preparing to make, like, a clone or another body for her, something like that. I don't know. Uh, that, we never see the direct end result of that. All we know is that Fluffy shows up again in this one. Uh, spoilers for that, I suppose, but this isn't exactly the most, uh, plot-heavy series in the world. Now, beyond that, I actually don't know what I'm getting into. I have no idea. This is a 2D platformer. I don't know if it's a collectathon. I don't know if it has side quests. I don't know anything about this one. I've never played this one. And it's got to perform some first-time setup on Steam, so I am guess I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna chill. Uh, hello to everyone just tuning in. Happy to see you all. Just gonna chill while this installs. I probably should have taken care of this before the stream started, but I figured if there was like a one-time only cutscene or something, I didn't want to miss it. Miss catching it on stream, I mean. Oh, that's interesting. It full screened. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, we're just jumping right into that, huh? Oh, boy. All right. So, first off, let's just turn... I want to keep music relatively high. I don't need it full screen. And let's do something by 720 maybe 720 no I don't need it at 720 I want it at like 1920 10 that should work if it'll let me choose that there we go that's weird yeah what apostrophe ow no kidding all right though I have no idea what I'm getting into I want to just check real quick and make sure Tie 4, why, when did they release it? Uh, they released it worldwide 2015 for Windows. So I guess this must have been a Windows Store release or something. I have absolutely no idea. I, I keep saying it, I don't know what I'm getting into here. Costume shop? Oh uh, yeah, I can unlock a whole bunch of different costumes to wear. Wow, these flash puppets are really, really flash puppets, huh? And yeah, chicken suit tie. I don't like this. I already don't like this. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I guess let's see what we're even getting into, really. Oh my god, no voice acting? There's no voice acting in this one, huh? All right. Do I read the dialogue or do I just go forward? What do you think? I'm not going to try for any <laughs> I'm not going to try for any <laughs> voices. I'm not going to do voice acting. I can't voice act these characters. I'd just be reading the text. <sighs> G'day, mate. Welcome to the beautiful Kularanga, the jewel of Southern Rivers District. District? When was it a district? I can't jostle the bird, also. You are here, okay? Eastern Australia. A sunburnt land of breathtaking scenery, full of nasty critters and nastier people. Do I actually need to read the words Boss Cass, or is that just, like, highlighting him? 
It can be a right dangerous place if you're not on your toes. That's why we've got the team at Bush Rescue. So we've got Shazza, we've got Ranger Ken, who I actually didn't know was a Tasmanian Devil. I figured he was some kind of... Uh, the bird... The bur Oh, Boss Cass. I see what you're doing. Yes. I didn't know Ranger Ken was a Tasmanian Devil. I always thought he was some kind of bear. Rex and L, the platypi. Or platypuses. It says platypuses, but I always assumed the plural was platypi. Duke the Kiwi. And, of course, Mori. Mori the... Mori the cockatoo and another bird off to his left who I've never seen before. No, you can't just say that on stream, Cold. Y'all have to stop. You need to stop now. <laughs> All led by the greatest extinct thyla- Excuse me! Excuse me! Extinct thylacine? Extinct? Are we calling Ty extinct? Ty went extinct? When did Ty go extinct? What happened? <laughs> Today is just another normal day for bush rescue. Dennis the green tree frog has some wonderful news for bush rescue. And then he says, I have some wonderful news for bush rescue because I guess we're trying to do a... That's not even a joke, really. Like... That's a very cheap gag. I've finally purchased the new site for my Thunder Egg Museum. Wait, Thunder Egg Museum? You've got a museum for these things? I thought you had a collection, not a whole goddamn museum. We're moving it today! That's great, Dennis. Do you need a hand? Uh, yeah, Roxy, I think that's just on your end, though I think other folks might need to confirm. Oh, no, there's more than one Thunder Egg. There's, like, those were the star equivalents in Taiwan, which was a collectathon like uh, Mario 64. The star equivalents were Thunder Eggs, and there were a lot of them. I don't remember precisely how many. Oh, no, moving it all bit by bit is too much work. That's why I'm moving the whole building. Yes, this was a 3D series before. Ties 1 through 3 were 3D. This one's 2D. I don't know why. Uh-oh. Buildings moving or falling? <laughs> it grew legs. That's fun. That's a fun assumption to make there. Yeah, this is this game's entirely 2D. It is a 2D side scroller now. And then uh God, I can't even be bothered. Dennis says, "Oh my, my beautiful thunder eggs, they'll be ruined." Isn't there a hospital down the b bottom of the hill says Shaza? There's a hospital Really? We've got to save a hospital? Next, he'll be telling me there's an orphanage. There's going to be, like, an orphanage right behind it that this building's hypothetically going to plow through the hospital and just keep going right into the orphanage. Oh, goodness me. Oh, my fucking... Wow. Okay, it's not an orphanage, but I was close. Holy shit. Oh, this is going to be a game. This is going to be a whole game. <laughs> Crikey. Yeah, you could say that. Oh my! God, no! Colt, you said orphan children. You were right! Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god. This game is just... So, okay, how many more cliches are we going to check off this particular list? Good God. <laughs> we have to stop the museum. Get in front of it while I try to figure out what to do. Okay, fine. All right, sure. 
So we can still glide. Oh, that glide animation is terrible. I mean, all this animation is terrible, but wow. Hold on. That's a little bit loud on the music. Yeah, I guess the plan is to just lift it himself. I figured out how to stop the museum. We can use my new invention, the magnet. <laughs> That's just gonna keep moving in the background while I'm talking to Julius. Oh shit! If you can go and pick them up and place them at the marked areas, we should be able to slow down and stop the museum. I hope. No worries, Jul. No worries, Julius. I'm on it. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, we can drop down that way. That's a kookaburra. Hello. Get out of my way, please. Power attack? Why is that a thing I can do? Never mind. Just keep going. Okay, so biting has been put to the same button as throwing boomerangs, which hopefully won't be too big a problem. Yeah, tie three was markedly better than this. I'm, I'm hurt just playing this. I had a feeling. Oh, what did that say? I didn't see what that said. Oh God, Gator. So, where did the museum go? Also, is this the part we finally, like, fire Dennis, or what? I only did three. That was only three. That said three out of four. Just barely doinks into that. Oh, and actually does topple it over. Surprise, surprise. Yay! That was a close one. Good job, Possum. Oh god, I I already don't want to be playing this. <laughs> uh, there were like magnetic objects that Julius made that we were placing around the path of the museum to slow it down. Uh, Dennis, I hate you with like a burning passion. Simply splendid. Thank goodness all the little ones are okay. Well, now that you've stopped Dennis from wiping out all the kids, we've got some real rescuing to do. Can we please fire Dennis? Can we fire Dennis from Bush Rescue? I don't care that he made it. I don't care that he was the general in Ty 3. Fire him. Ty, what happened to your outfit? Let's head back to town and see what needs to be done. We should keep an eye out for Sly, too. He's not been seen for days. Oh no, his outfit's just always been like that, okay. Things are heating up out there, so I think you need something a bit more powerful than your trusty old iron bark. Is that what this is called now? I think you'll enjoy this, my new blazerang, okay. With this ring, you'll be able to melt even the coldest device, just make sure you don't light any bushfires. We wouldn't want to burninate the countryside. Stop. 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 Please, God, stop. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't see this happen. I can't see this happen to my favorite se Well, not favorite. That's not at all accurate. <laughs> I can't see this happen to... A whatever. Just keep playing. There are a few other places around town you might want to look at, too. Uh, <laughs> is there a plane I can hop onto to go to, like, Station Square or something? Can I just chill in Station Square instead? Your mom and dad have a boomerang shop where you can use opals to purchase additional rings, so nothing's changed there. Also, the new boomerangs are not microtransaction-based, but in the original Windows shop version of this, uh, the unlockable skins were microtransaction-based, so that's... eh. And I have a fabulous shop where you can buy new clothing. Just quietly, Suede is in this season. Yeah, sure, Suede. Uh, when they ported this over to Steam, I should note they got rid of the microtransactions as, like, a real money purchase, so they're all via Opals now. 
Yeah, no, this entire game is just... I'm looking at... I'm looking at the game, and I don't want to be looking at the game. One more time to muck about. There are things to do and people to save. Oh, okay. So there's not actually a town to walk around in. There's just... We just get the menu. Hyperang for 3,000 opals. Chaos, Chaos Rang? Deadly Rang? Crypto Rang? Disruptor Rang? Doomerang? Wow, this is just... Ugh. I mean, I will say, the one benefit I can think of to this game being two-dimensional is that the boomerangs, uh, the boomerang design, I would say, gets a nifty upgrade just by virtue of them not having to actually model something that looks like that. I kind of like the Chaos Rang's design, though I also think it looks a little bit like a Demon Hunter <laughs> Warglaive from World of Warcraft. <laughs> like, you look at that and tell me that's not a Demon Hunter Glaive. Yes! Thank you, Ada! This is definitely an Illidari weapon. <laughs> oh, God. What am I getting myself into? And as for costumes, we've got Ty, we've got Sly with a cape. We've got Brolga, who we've never seen before, in case anyone was wondering. Flinders, who, again, never seen that one before. Shazza, Ridge, Naomi... Uh, Ty's mom, Ty's dad. Psy X, apparently. Uh, Psy X, by the way, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Fourth in a series of cybernetic thylacines designed to fight boss casts. Previous versions were retired to live out their days on the stand-up comedy circuit? Can, can we, like, is there an explanation for... Stand-up comedy? Why that? Why did we go... Whatever. Ty's sister. Ty 1 Ty. Ty 2 Ty. Concept art Ty. Tuxedo. A secret heroine with a history of mystery. Can you discover her secret identity? I don't remember who her secret identity is. Uh, I remember seeing it and thinking, oh, this is probably going to be a big plot spoiler or something, but... he, I mean, he has a bow tie. That's close enough, I think. Sky, mild-mannered... Okay, so they're just gonna make it as obvious as possible, huh? Sky is the mild-mannered historian of Southern Rivers, or does she hide some secret information? Meanwhile, Cyber here is a secret heroine with a history of mystery who we know nothing about. So we've got a superhero who we know nothing about, and a mild-mannered historian who has some secret information. I do want to point out, not only do they have the same fur color... Which, like, that's kind of a dead giveaway. But also, I wanted to point out, their eye colors are different? How does that work? Is it contacts? Are contacts part of her costume? I, I admit to that being some dedication if that's the case, but... And then we've got this guy who, yet again, never seen before. Shitty 8-bit wannabe tie... Tie three, Ty. Sly, uh, uh, hold on. Sly cape, Sly. The difference between Sly and Sly cape isn't even the cape. He's got a cape either way. It's the frigging, the finger guards on his <laughs> gloves. Are they spiky or sharp? I guess shot, sharp. Sly Cape has sharp finger guards on his gloves, and regular Sly does not. I guess the collar, too, yes. And then we've got a shadowy figure who I wonder who that could be. And tie in a chicken suit. Uh, one thing I'm noticing, we do not appear to have the Blade Kitten costume, which I guess, honestly, I would call a godsend. Uh, if you'll give me a minute, let me look that up real quick so I can show you how bad this could have been. Let's see. Skins. Let's 
just save that to stream jokes, I guess. K.png. Okay, and now let me uh, drop that in. Image. And there she is. <laughs> oh, God, that looks so bad. <laughs> oh, good, I can just zoom and enhance. <laughs> Zoom and enhance. <laughs> oh, criminy. Okay, so for anyone that's the least bit curious, this was them trying to make a Thai version of a character from a completely different series they made in the interim. It didn't work. It really didn't work. It absolutely didn't work. Let me find a picture of... Let me find a picture of the character. Uh, okay, so the struggle isn't going to be finding a picture of the character. It's going to be finding a good picture of the character, because, wow. Just... That should suffice. Let me pull this up. Sorry for the delay in gameplay. I know y'all are really looking forward to seeing me get back to the game, huh? The character looks decent for the era that the game came out in, but... So... That's her in the game that she actually comes from. And I'm just going to put it up for reference again so y'all can decide if this was <laughs> accurately done. Get rid of those. And reluctantly get back to the game. So for some reason that skin doesn't seem to be here. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm going to call that a convenience. There are many games. I don't want to play any of them. Dennis just called in. He's gotten lost somewhere out at Damp Tree Falls. He was delivering Lenny the Liarbird his lunch and got turned around. Probably from following Lenny's directions, like a drongo. What is the drongo? Sorry, Australian slang. Time to... Drongo is used in Australian English as a mild form of insult, meaning idiot or stupid fellow. Okay, mystery solved. Do you think you could go find him? Sure, no worries. I can keep an eye out for Sly while I'm there. Okay. Okay. So, here we are in the game again. Unfortunately, there's... Okay, so why at least still brings up... There's no bird wiggling in this game, no. There's no way to wiggle the bird now. Oh, uh, wow. Gliding feels off. I barely have any descent at all. Oh, that's a... God, please tell me Gubu Fruits don't indicate Gubu Steve is back. <laughs> I need to I need to do that again. I just need to show everyone. <laughs> I just need everyone to keep a real close eye on Ty's frigging sprite such as it is while I'm gliding. 
He has exactly two frames. Okay, so that's a pie slice we don't need. Change to the blazer ring. We're just gonna keep this. Like, all right, I can drop down. I forgot about that. No, can't get that. Uh, that's just poorly conveyed. Yeah, you can stand on this root. Does this look like a root you can stand on? Anyway. I'm gonna burninate everything. What's down here? Okay, before I actually <clears throat> ask what's down here, I'm gonna go over here instead. What is... Time attack? Opal get Why was that there? Why'd they put that there? Eh? Right, I need a power attack for these. Okay. I don't think there's any frame rate issues. Like, this game's running smoothly. I'm not going to get on the leaderboards. I don't want to be known as the streamer that actually played this game. I am a coward. I own that. Hi, what do you want? I have to get my Dead Set Legend Cricket Trophy to school for show and tell, but those nasty flying frills won't let me get through with it. Can you help me get it past them? No worries, Booney. I'll give it a go. Flying frills? Uh, I'm sorry to say there's no next game to speak of here. This is like... This is it. Uh, did I lose the trophy? I'm probably not going to 100% this one, no. I don't know if 100%ing is even a thing I have to... Okay, that's a lot of noise those make. And that's too powerful an enemy for me to get past or to do any damage to. So... Please, I can't do this. I'm not strong enough to be known as the Tice... The... Where did the trophy go? D Hold on, sorry. Did I just... Oh, God. Okay. I need to show y'all something. Jumping on the ground, right? Jumping it. Hold on, hold on. I had it. Jumping in the air. Why can I do that? Oh, no. Every, every time I play this game, and I think I've found how bad it gets, there's something worse. Uh, attention to detail was not done at all here. I can throw my boomerangs and still be gliding. In the first three tie games, when you did not have both your boomerangs, you could not glide. I didn't say every time I play this game, I said something more to the tune of every time I think I've found how bad this game gets. Like, 
I, I guess I could try a power attack. Do I really? Is this worth it? What was with the opals? Okay. And that's how I beat those. Got it. Did, okay, I am definitely misspoke then. I've never played this game outside of today. And I just don't have the trophy. I just don't have the trophy to give to Booney. So I guess that's it for that. I promised Booney I would get his trophy up here and then let it get destroyed like a chump. How are you still standing? Ew. I will not jump over charging enemies, thank you. Are they Ubers? Those aren't Ubers, that's a regular blue tongue, I think. I am hating everything about this. Just absolutely everything about this is bad. Dennis's backpack. I wonder what it can tell me about where he is. That's Dennis's backpack. Not much. Radio then, I'll keep looking. Oh no. There's objectives to complete aside from just reaching the end of the level. Okay, he can just double hit me. That's fair, I guess. Does it cost opals to use that attack? Oh my god, it does. It costs 10 opals to use a power attack. Why is that how that would be? Uh, okay. Yet again, I find an issue with this game's uh, detail work, so... You can see I can glide, obviously, when I've got neither boomerang just by throwing the mid-glide. And I said that in the other three games, the throwing your boomerang from a glide cancels the glide. Right? Y'all are with me? Y'all are on the same page there? But look what happens when I throw boomerang and then try to glide. Nothing. It doesn't let me. So, when they were coding this, I guess, they didn't factor in the possibility that someone would start a glide throw a boomerang, and then just be able to continue the glide. They didn't take that into account. Bonus level, it seems like. Oh, no, wait. Serene and peaceful, says Lenny. Okay. Yeah, I should have figured.
Oh, I just can't hit him? Okay. The fuck was that? Okay, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Tie Force speed run starts now. I'm getting the hell out of this game as quickly as I can. So sorry. Normally I like to try and 100% these things. I can't do this. I want to see the end of the story. I don't... What do you have to say, Lenny? Postman won't deliver him a package, and I can't move it with this broken leg and arm, which means they're completely fine. They're micro-fractures. Yeah, that's it. Look, I'll give you directions, but only if you tell the truth. I was lost for weeks last time. I swear as an astronaut, I will. He's not an astronaut. Ha-ha, <laughs> funny. Please, let me hit the platform. Ugh. Oh. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad pun. That just bounces me back up. Okay. God, this game was poorly made. Go right here and that'll get you to my house. And yeah, of course. So it's just the Lenny the Liar Bird, or Liar Liar Pants on Fire level again, huh? We're just doing that again. Go left. Where the hell am I? Just down a little farther. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. What's down here? Yeah, that one was fun. That's the big difference. You're right. I don't think Lenny's doing well. I don't think he's been doing well. Don't go left. Whatever you do, don't go left. Now, he said don't go left, and I actually listened without really thinking about it. So that's on me. Yeah, he's got something. Okay. Skip the whole game by pressing Alt F4. God, I wish. I wish it was just that easy for me to do that. What's up here, even? It's Lenny's house. Okay, great. We're home now. I can open up my package. What is it? A GPS with turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Was there a joke there? Like... We know we can't trust Lenny. What was it actually, if not a GPS? What is this? I'm just wanting to get through this quickly. That's all. Uh... <laughs> Ty, don't scare me like that. It's enough to give me a heart attack. Sorry, Dennis. Maury sent me to get you. Oh, he's such a wonderful chap, old Maury. So thoughtful. Always makes tea. Speaking of tea, I'd really like to get home before it's dark. It's awfully scary out here. And dark. Full of mo Before it gets dark, and then he immediately says it's dark. Okay. Lead on, Ty. I'm right behind you. Okay. It's much too dark now. I'm just going to stand right by, right here by this lovely warm fire where I can see. I'll light up those barrels along the way. I suppose I would like to get home and have a nice bath. Let's do that. Okay, so we're just doing... What was the level again? What's the level called in Tide 1? That this just is again? Yeah, this is just Bridge on the River Tie again. They're just having me do Bridge on the River Tie again. Okay. 
There. I bet that wasn't the intended route. I don't care. It costs me 10 opals to do a charge attack like that, but it's... 10 opals is nothing. The downgrade from tie 1 through 3 to this game is so, so hard to quantify. It's... I mean, the UI is neat, I guess, but that's nothing. That's gonna kill me, yep. I need to stop getting killed by this. Throw that. I was facing the wrong direction for that throw, but all right. What are these? Another thing I've got to say I really don't like about this game. Uh, bite being mapped to... The same button as your regular attacks now? Oh. Means every time I try to bite something, because the last three games all had it mapped to the B button, I accidentally start up a power attack instead. Okay. That counted, I guess. There's just goo-boo berries hidden everywhere now. Yeah, that's no surprise to me. It really is no surprise to me that this game barely registers as a thing in the eyes of anyone and everyone. It doesn't deserve to register as more than, yeah, they made another tie game. Just barely. It meets the minimum qualifications for a tie the Tasmanian Tiger game. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I never would have made it without you. I didn't want to mention it earlier, but there was something out there moving around like it was looking for something. I never quite got a good look at it. It was quite devious. Anyway, I'm home now. Toodaloo. Level complete. Okay. Huh. <sighs> I really hate what they did to Shazza. Someone, one of y'all mentioned that in chat earlier and I didn't acknowledge it, but yeah, she doesn't look good. Oh God, Naomi's worse.
Why are they like that? I'm getting increasingly frustrated looking at... Look, like, look at Brolga. Look at Brolga. She's normal. And look at Dai. She's normal. Look at Betty. She's fine. Cyber and Sky. Both fine. Most of these characters are totally fine. What is up with Shaza and Naomi? What is going on there? Uh, yeah, Ari, welcome to the stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 4. It is not a fun experience at all. Just, I've already resigned myself to wanting to blast through this game as quickly as I possibly can. I do not want to get 100% on this. I've... Oh, every time Dennis looks to the left, I die a little inside. Which skin do I want to get? No, you know what? I want to keep saving up for rings. What have we got? Most expensive one is 8,000. I'm going to save up for that. Oh my, oh my, oh my. If my readings are correct, the structural integrity of the Lake Buramudgee Dam wall is collapsing. More and more holes keep appearing in the wall. Duke's delivering permanent leak upholding gizm plugs. They're, it, it abbreviates to plugs. Haha, <laughs> funny. To seal up the holes, but he needs help putting them in place. I'm on it. This game has achievements? Who gave this game achievements? Why does this game have achievements? What are these little guys? Well, there's a button somewhere that'll activate those. This dam is being held together by bandages. Did nobody think to repair this before it started leaking? Like... Whatever, just keep going. Don't question it. Funny background. I miss the low poly frogs. Feel like shit, just want them back. There is exactly one convenience to making this all flash puppets instead of 3D, and that's that they can more easily animate I guess the concept art quality stuff, so that there's no details. I'm trying so hard to find good things to say about this game and it's just not working. I'm not doing that, that's just gonna be for a gooba berry or something. No, Shazza, sorry, busy. I wish I could say either of those were, like, things I felt about this game, but it just kind of exists. Yeah, bad end locked in. I really... There's probably a post-credits 100% completion scene or something. Okay. Just take damage from that. What was I up there for? Hold on. Did I miss something? Four hours to beat this game. So this is just like... This is basically just one and done.
There's no voice acting, there's no actual cutscenes, there's... Obviously, there's no 3D work put into it. There's no apparent connection to Tie 3's storyline. I mean, 12 and a half for 100% completion isn't bad, but that is four play sessions, and I just don't want to. I'm not strong enough. How much money is this game? I don't remember. I don't remember what I paid for this. I think I bought, like, all four games in one bundle, and it wasn't too pricey. Make your way to the next part of the dam. I'll see you there. Okay, Duke. Eight dollars. I must have gotten it on a sale then. How am I supposed to reach you? Whatever. You know what I just realized? I'm not rescuing Bilbies anymore. The Bilbies are gone. I'm rescuing random koala kids. What happened to the Bilbies? Bilbies went extinct, too. God, you know what? Maybe. Okay, done with that level. On to the next one. Okay, Ty, there are three holes to repair in this part of the dam. I'm basically just going around doing things. That's the reason Bush Rescue was created in the first place. I just hit Ken. I'd say I'm sorry for hitting your Ranger Ken, but Mama didn't raise no liar. Warrior of Light Simulator? <laughs> oh yeah, because we're just running around doing helpful stuff. Yeah, that's basically the reason, reason Bush Rescue was created, according to Tai 2, was just so that they could keep track of stuff going on in the outback. Or, I guess, in Australia in general. I honestly don't know. They never established where precisely Buramudgee was. And we're not even in Buramudgee anymore. That just occurred to me, too. We're not in Buramudgee. We're in... Was it Kularanga? I know... I, okay, look. Um... I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm expecting this game to just be a rehash of the other three. I'm not. I understand completely that games are just going to fall apart if all they do is revisit the same locations and same plot points, uh, game in, game out. At the same time, I'm wondering about the consistency here. Like, how much of the team that created the first three games was even involved in this one, for starters? Because it seems like a lot of the changes they've made to, like, between TIE 3 and TIE 4 are arbitrary changes that just remove details from the first three games. Great work, TIE. This part of the dam is safe again. Find your way to the next section. Sure thing. I mean, we've got none of the voice actors. We've got the same musician, I should note. It's at least the same music guy. But it's not the same voice actors. It's barely any of the same collectibles, aside from Gubu Berries, which... I hope I don't ever see Gubu Steve in this game. I hope I don't. He looked bad in Tai 2 and Tai 3. 
Last three holes, we're almost done. All right. There's just so much about this game that I was... I spent the last four days thinking to myself, I don't really want to play it, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. Spoiler alert, I've not been pleasantly surprised. Like, I'm shocked to say it because y'all know I felt TIE 3 was a slog. I'm missing TIE 3 right now. Yeah, I didn't like TIE 3. I didn't. But I'd still take that over this. There's a button I missed, isn't there? I've got to say, is it is it just me or does it sound like not even the music guy is giving it his all? Like maybe it's just this specific song. I'll give the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Now, where do I go? I need to plug that. Can't find another plug. You're going to have to find another way before the wall breaks, okay? Yeah, making this a free flash game or something, I wouldn't mind, but this is... To be fair, when it came out on the Windows Store, this was not named Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 4. This was just called Tie the Tasmanian Tiger on the store, but then they put it on Steam and rebranded it Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 4. And that's why I've never played this game until right now. And why I wish I wasn't doing it right now. Yeah, it's... Like, it is a continuation of the story, I suppose, but not in the strictest sense. It's the same characters and the same general concept. Great job. Couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, you're welcome. Did I just sequence break? Hold on. It looks like there were supposed to be platforms I was headed up. Like, on the right there. And instead, I just glided over to the thing and broke it. And the game said, yeah, sure, why not? I just wish I knew who'd set up those robots to drill holes in the wall. Oh, it's Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. But you're dead? Oh no, little orange rat, I'm back. You may have defeated my nanobots, but next time you won't stop me from destroying you and your precious bush rescue. Okay, she had... She defected to our side at the end of tie 3. What the hell is going on here? Fluffy's back and she's gone. Okay, they're acknowledging that at least. Thank you. She's gone evil again. Okay, anyway. We're done with that chunk of levels. On to the next one. Time, mate, I have a bit of a problem. Sneath and Keith have taken a bunch of tourists out to Shark Reef. They were only meant to be gone for three hours, but it's been six. Do you think you could go and find them? I do it myself, but I'm about to start my lifeguard shift. Totally fucked that up, but whatever. Sure thing, Rex.
Why do you have a flamethrower? Why has this guy got a flamethrower? Oh, those are sea mines. I'm saving up for the Doomerang, because that's the most expensive one, and I don't know if it's actually any good or not. Okay. Oh, I've got to power attack them. Oh, swimming sucks now. Hi, L. Good to see you. I'm not here to help beyond, like, the bare minimum. Sorry. Okay. That guy just knocked me all the way back down. Yes, yeah, swimming worked so well in the first three. How did they screw it up? Don't know what that button does. Oh. Yeah, you'd think turning it from 3D to 2D, they could at least retain some measure of quality from the things that the... Okay, charging it. That was quite a knockback. Uh, I'm going to say no to media requests just because I do actually want to... It's standard procedure for me. I want to hear the actual like in-game music before before any media requests get turned on. Even if the music really is not up to par. Okay. Paying attention to my health, that one was on me. I can't believe how bad swimming feels now. In the first three games, if you wanted to swim faster, you just rapidly tapped the A button and then held it once you were at max speed and you'd stay at max speed. Now when you tap the button, it gives a short, like, burst of increased speed and then you're back to slow. And yeah, his voice sounds like it's been pitch shifted from the first three games. Not to mention the actual, like, activating a dunny sound effect is way quicker than it's supposed to be. Like, you know, in the first three games, if you were, if anyone was listening to the sound effects for stuff like this, it was this, like, but in this game, it sounds more like, and, like, you can tell they just took the original sound effect and sped it up. Maybe one of these days you'll actually get to hear it without me talking over it. Sneath, how'd you get up there? Where's everybody else? My frill caught the breeze. I was blown overboard and got stuck up here. Why don't you just climb down? Because of the crabs. Oh, no, I died a few times in the other ones. This one just has... It's just not great. There we go, all sorted. Great, thanks, Ty. While I was up in the tree, I think I saw the boat. It's off that way. Rightio, let's go find them. See... That shark placement was just kind of... That's just kind of shitty. That was just bad enemy placement. That popped up out of nowhere. Looks like everybody's left the boat, Ty. You're going to have to find them all. There were eight tourists on the boat. You better find them before the sharks do. 
Time to find eight people. I presume you're not one of them. Maybe here. All right, that made sense. I did hit the A button there. Yeah, yeah, they definitely, like, pitch-bent the sound effect he normally makes when he hops out of a dunny. And it's just a gooboo berry. I went to all that trouble for a gooboo berry. And I'm back at the start of the level. Is it? Hold on. Hold on, there's no way. Uh, I can push enemies. I can push enemies. Okay, that wasn't a really good indicator at all for what we were trying to find. We can no longer jostle birds, but we can push crabs. Okay, I presume this is one of the people I needed to save. Hold on. Was that a Bilby? Now I'm saving Bilbies. Now that there's actually a plot significance to who I'm trying to save, I'm saving Bilbies. Bilbo's. Sure. Oh, I need to use a blaze ring for this. Blaze ring, blaze ring, I don't care. Do I not have air to worry about anymore? I don't have air to worry about anymore, but I do still have a health meter. What are all the things that Ty has allegedly been now? Shazza keeps calling him a possum. Okay, missed that by that much. I don't know why I care. This is one of the optional rescues. Okay, bye. That one wasn't a Bilby. That one was just a random frigging uh, koala kid. Like that one over there. I wouldn't be that forgiving towards Sonic Boom, but at least it had like... 
don't know. I was going to say at least it had decent concept work going into it, but so did this game. All right, it's no trouble. Thanks for tuning in. Goo-boo berries make you temporarily immune to explosives. Ah, uh, the 3DS one. That's fair. guess. I don't know why that attack costs opals. It's confusing and frustrating in equal measure. Okay, I need to find all the tourists. They let me create this part of the game. It's totally the best puzzle ever. What the... What are we doing? What was the purpose of this? So this just kind of does have so many free Flash game vibes to it, right? Like, well, no, it was, to be fair, it was Lenny saying that, and he's a liar, so. Thing Thing Arena. I don't remember that one. Penalty for falling, but no damage to go with it. It just stuns you for a few seconds. Which, like, why do that? Why even bother having the penalty at all if it's not going to do anything? Aside from stunning you. Alright, and there's a tourist here. I can hit the sharks. Well, the small ones, anyway. Big ones would probably still kill me. What, so you could see how much it would take to just run through the game? Like, how many opals? Did I just land on that for a second? Not in a million years. You can't make me do that. Where's the tourist I'm missing? I'm missing a tourist. Probably over here, right? Are they over here? This platform doesn't seem like it goes anywhere. It does. Um... You know, the one thing I was going to say about this game that I... That 
crab was just walking in the middle of the air for a second there. The one thing I was going to say that I appreciate about this game, they took away. Like, for the last handful of levels, like all the previous levels we've been through, they gave me this nifty green arrow over my head to show me where the objective was. Like, the thing I was supposed to be going toward at the minute. At, like, that particular moment. If I needed a plug, it was pointing me to a plug. If I needed a hole to plug up, it was pointing me to the hole. Why is it not pointing me to the tourist now that I only have one tourist to find in this entire level? They removed the... The problem with it in the last handful of levels was that that arrow was, like, completely unnecessary. The levels were so linear, I knew exactly where I was going. I knew where I was supposed to be. Well, with the one exception of the plug that I didn't know I needed to go through the mushrooms to get, but that's because most of the time, through those mushrooms, they hide secret levels. So for most of this game, that arrow has been completely unnecessary, but it's at least been there. The one time that it would actually be useful so far, it's conveniently absent. I have no idea why. <laughs> Use their budget up on the other arrows. Good UI design costs money, mate. We don't have that kind of cash. Don't have that kind of dough? I don't know. I don't know what accent I'm going for anymore. That sounded Australian for most of it, and then it petered out and turned into some kind of British. I didn't know they put Trixie in this game. That's a time attack. I'm not doing that. Why does the camera delay before following me underwater? I'd be real surprised if they put a tourist behind a time attack, like, minigame. Oh, that's nice. The... And by that's nice, I mean, oh god, really? The little boost that I'm doing here. Oh, this is where he was the whole time. Okay. I didn't read any of that. Oops. Something about if you find Keith, we should be able to go home. Uh, this little boost that I've been doing to speed up in water temporarily that I mentioned being frustrated by because I can't just hold A and go faster that way. Uh, it only works when I'm moving at effectively top speed, so I wasn't able to just boost my way through those little swimming, like the sections with the fire bars that kept showing up and disappearing. I couldn't just boost through those when they opened up. I needed to swim through. That makes the timing way tenser than it needs to be. Oh, and I can't do it at all when I'm at the surface. Okay. Help, help, says Keith. Did you hear that? That sounded like Keith. I better find him quick. That sounded like Keith. You know, I'm glad the game decided to tell us that instead of having, say, voice actors. Is 
the arrow gone? The arrow's not here anymore. Is it literally just find Keith? God, it is, isn't it? I actually have to find the guy. Yeah, they did actually have Keith's name just on the screen before they had Ty say that sounded like Keith. I'm still trying very hard to find good things to say about this game. I will say it's at least nice to not have Ty speak exclusively in uh, catchphrases anymore. He's got actual dialogue. It's not good dialogue. It's very, like, it's generic at best, but it's there. He's not saying you beauty every 10 seconds. <laughs> to Roy. <laughs> Struth. <laughs> and then, of course, there was the one time that, for whatever reason, and I still don't know what this means, he said beauty, bottle, or bonza. Zero out of eight sharks. Oh, okay, here he is. I need to save him from the sharks. Got it. And my boomerangs don't home in on them like they do with other enemies. Makes sense. Except when I'm under them. Uh, you've missed effectively nothing. I tried to do an Australian accent and couldn't pull it off. My boomerangs don't home in on the sharks except for when I'm underneath them. And even then it's when I'm far underneath them, apparently. Can I get some consistently? C consistently, please. See, I'm talking about how Ty doesn't seem to know how to speak, and then I botch a sentence like that. Oh, thanks so much, Ty. You're a real lifesaver. I was almost fish food. I better get back in the boat and go pick up Sneath and the tourists. It's well past dinner time. Thanks for the rescue. Okay. Ty Possum, something really strange is going on. There's all sorts of odd energy readings coming from the rainforest. I really think we should get out there and check it out. Okay, Shazza, maybe it's got something to do with Sly's disappearance. Let's go. Well, we're here. Nothing looks out of the ordinary. I don't know, Ty. Something doesn't feel right. We meet again, little orange rat. Fluffy, what are you doing out here? Taking care of some unfinished business. You. Oh, it's a boss battle. Hey, they remembered there are boss battles in this game. How nice of them. gonna hit. I don't feel like that's gonna hit. Nope, didn't hit. Okay. All right. Excusez-moi? It's not Fluffy, it's a robot. A robot Fluffy. I've never seen anything like this before. Great job, Ty. Let's get this to Julius. Oh my, yes. This is very advanced technology. But why would somebody use it to build a robot Fluffy? I don't know, but I bet it has something to do with Sly's disapp- Why does it have to do so Why does it have to have something to do with Sly's disappearance? And it's up to Bush Rescue to find out what. Well, mate, we better get to it and find out who's behind all this ruckus. I think I have an idea. Boss Cass. What do you mean they escaped? Do you realize what this will mean if they figure it out? 
Get out there! Get what I need! Nothing will stop me this time. I can't do a boss cast voice at all. And then, evil laugh. Alright. I've just finished production on my latest boomerang, the Blizzarang. It's much like your old Frosty Rang, but freezes things even faster and has a 300% reduced instance of ice cream headaches? Sorry? Was Ty eating his boomerang? <laughs> Stone the crows. Julius' lab is on fire. He's stuck up there. The fire's cut him off. You better get up there and put out the fire with your Blizzarang. Gee, I wonder what we're supposed to put them out with. You know what? Now that you've mentioned uh, Golden Cogs, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to bring back a community favorite. You know what it's time for. Do I want to use that one, or do I want to use the transparent one? I don't know if they're still in the chat, by the way, but all credit to Tiny and you, Mason, for creating this. This is absolutely perfect. I'm just going to put it, like, right... There, that seems good. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, can I not reach that? Can I not get to that? What did I need to do to get to that? Watermark the stream with a giant transparent one. I'm not going to keep it up for long, but I'm... Yeah, give me a moment. I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> Please, you can't. This is. This can't be my stream. People are gonna tune into this going, oh, tie four. I remember tie three. <laughs> They're gonna tune in and see this and go, what the fuck? What am I looking at? Don't kid myself. Nobody remembers tie three. You're right. Y'all are also correct to say nobody's going to be looking for this game on Twitch. <laughs> Alright, we're just doing this. We're doing this now. Is there no way back up? Is there no way for me to go back up? Oh, yes, there is. Now, they do have frogs, but they're not low poly. What sound does a pog champ make? Hold on a moment.
There we go. You can't tell me that's not the sound. You know that's the correct noise. I'm sorry, but... It... What the... Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, the fade to black must look really, really good with that. There's pipes down here. <laughs> it just seemed like the correct noise for a pog champ. <laughs> I'll say it as much as I want to. You can't stop me. Who's going to stop me? God? <laughs> what did that... What's that button do? Why can't I hit it so many times? What's that button do? If you're gonna pan the camera out to show me that the button is doing something and there's an area around it, show me what the button's doing. Don't just leave me to wonder. Is it this? Is this what the button does? I guess this must be what the button does. <coughs> God, I'm sorry for raising my voice at this game so much, but like... For one thing, this game is a disappointment to me on a level that's very, very hard to really comprehend. This is just nothing. They bottled up nothing and sold it to me as TIE 4. Not that I should be terribly surprised, I didn't think it was going to be much, but... This is less than not much. And second, there's so many, like, basic elements of game design that you'd think they'd have figured out by now. I could forgive TIE 1 and TIE... I'm not talking to that guy. I could forgive TIE 1, TIE 2, even TIE 3 for not knowing, like... If you've got a button that activates a thing, show me where the thing is. I could just barely overlook that because, let's be honest, Chrome Studios, not particularly well-known game designers, not exactly professionals, and it seemed like their first was... Hold on. I've got to look this up to confirm so I'm not just spouting bullshit. Chrome Studios. Founded in 1999 and created Mike Stewart's Pro Bodyboarding, Champion Surfer, Barbie Beach Vacation, Disney's Extremely Goofy Skateboarding, Barbie Sparkling Ice Show, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes. Now... Okay, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes should not have been there because Ty 1 definitely came out first. 2002. Okay, so Ty 1, not their first game. Taiwan, not their first game, but like, I don't, I don't recognize any of the other games that they made. It seems like some of them were officially licensed, and that's not necessarily much to say about them. Where was I going with this? 
right. I could just barely overlook them having not figured out the basics of game design in tie one through three. But like these are fundamental things that by the time they're downgrading to making a 2D platform instead of a 3D one, you'd at least think they'd have the common sense to go, oh, by the way, let's just pan the camera over to where this button like activates a thing so you can see what it is you're doing. You guys have had time to figure this out. Anyway, me raising my voice so much is starting to make it a bit hoarse, so... Ty, glad you're here to help, mate. There's more fires up ahead. We'd better get moving before, before the whole place is burnt to a crisp. Okay. Onward to the next one. Julius's lab is burning up, and the fire's about to get to his chemical stockpile? Julius. Julius, my dude. You're a scientist. You're a professional scientist. You do this as your career. Why is your chemical stockpile exposed to open flame? I just scared my mom by yelling. <laughs> Oops. I've got to tone it down a bit. Somebody's lit up a bunch of cars and blocked the path for whatever reason. You need to put them out so Bush Fire Service can get through. Look, there's the Drongo now. Gee, I wonder who the shadowy figure could possibly be. I wonder who it is. I wonder who the shadowy figure that, like, is causing all this trouble for Boss Cass could possibly be. I mean, it's not like we've been looking for Sly this entire adventure. And it's not like he's showing up with suspiciously sly-looking boomerangs. You know what? Show of hands. Who actually cares enough about the story to have this spoiled? Because, like, I can just say outright <laughs> who this is with a sequence of sarcastic it's-not-likes and... Okay. <laughs> Heather just said it. Uh, yeah, it's not like we've been... What I was going to say is it's not like we've been on the trail of Sly this entire time, and it's <laughs> not like he's holding suspiciously Sly-looking boomerangs, and it's not like we just fought a robot Fluffy or anything. It's Robot Sly. It's a robot designed to look like Sly and cause trouble. Quickly, before something else explodes. Onward. It's not like these are the most plot-heavy games in the world. I'm sorry if anyone actually wanted to find this stuff out for themselves, but like... I... I can't be bothered to care about this game. Even by the... Even by the standards of the first three games, I can't be bothered to care enough about this one to not spoil. Okay, where am I supposed to be going then? Oh, down. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm still not over the fact that Julius is, like, chemicals. He's got a massive stockpile of just chemicals, presumably for experimentation purposes, and they're in a place where open flame can even affect them in Australia. Like, of course there's going to be wildfires here. Even if we don't take climate change into account, that's like been a thing, right? You're living in Australia, you're a professional scientist. This place is known for having bushfires, which climate change definitely hasn't been helping, if we're gonna get into that. I'm operating on the assumption that climate change is affecting the universe of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. I think I'm stretching things a bit at this point, but I digress. 
and your first thought isn't, I should probably move the chemicals to a fireproof location. I'm just baffled. I am. I am through and through bewildered. Why is this platform so slow? I know this is just kind of a nitpick, but why is this platform so slow? We've done it. We've cracked the code. Did the dunny just hit me and deal damage? No, okay, it was them. Man, this is real good enemy placement. Did I not put a fire out? Oh, Ty, you took your time getting here. Come on, we're going to have to be quick if we're going to save my lab. Yeah, they shouldn't be able to fire on me if I can't see them yet. Right, let's get going. The most important place to start is... Wait, who's that? You. You there. Stop this. Stop this instant. Oh, dear. The poor fireman. Ty, you have to help them and put out my lab, too. Yeah, for the fireman... <laughs> I hate that idea. I hate everything about it. That goo -boo berry was just there. I don't know. I don't like either option. And I need to... Yeah, that's just a pause button. There's just a pause button on that section of the screen. That's fine. Yeah, okay.
What's really messed up about it is, is they wink before they disappear. Good job, Ty. You saved most of my lab, but it looks like there are some things missing. I can't find any of my Magneticons, but why would anybody want to take them? I don't know either, Julius, but I just found this. Very deadly rang. Really? Really? We couldn't think of a better name for it than that? I mean, it looks cool. I'm not going to pretend it doesn't look cool, but we really, we're really just going to call it the very deadly rang. I, at least it's not one word. Oh dear, this isn't good. Ty, we have to find out who was using this and get my magneticons back. Hey Ty, I thought you had gone and found those tourists. They never came back. I did. They were heading back home when I left them. For a not, mate. Duke's been up in his chopper and he spotted some wreckage. I'll meet you with the wreckage and we'll look from there, mate. We really need to find them. Eh? That was a... That was... Ty the Whale. Are they indicating that Ty the Whale is about to become relevant, or... I'm, li I'm not gonna lie, I'd be really surprised if they were about to make Ty the Whale of all characters actually relevant. Okay, now I do want to give them one point of credit. That background uh, mountain, that spire in the background, that's from Ty 1. Like, they actually drew, or redrew, or whatever word you want to use, uh, the end of, I believe the level was Shipwrecks from Taiwan, just to be the background for this level. That's cute. That's a cute detail. Uh, yeah, the level that, or screen that you return to every time you finish a batch of levels is also the game's main menu. Oh, man. Okay, so I should not have been able to get that, but this game delays, like... It doesn't keep constant track of whether you've... Do y'all see that? That bit of foreground has a little seam in it. Oh, no, there's one here, too. It's just like this little... I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that it's just a crack and it's supposed to be there, but it looks so off. <sighs> Whatever, just keep going. He really did try that, huh?
Oh lord, it's a Skiffozoa. Oh, okay. Ty, Rex told me you might need a hand. The wreckage is just over there, but there are too many sharks for me to get you to it. Do you think you can do something about that? Yeah, his name is Ty the Whale. He was an Easter egg in Ty 2. <laughs> it's not Bismarck. He was an Easter egg in Ty 2 and Ty 3, and that was just it. And now suddenly they've given him any sort of story significance. Which, I guess so, okay. Yeah, I've got nothing to go on at this point. I've said everything I feel like I need to say. This just isn't a good game. It's not a good game, and I just have to roll with whatever arbitrary changes they've made. And that's a Skipazoa. That's the second time I've called that out, or shouted that out, I guess. Uh, if anyone doesn't get it, I'm making a Code Lyoko joke. A Code Lyoko, if you will. But I really hope you won't. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So just real quick, I want to say I found another thing about this that irritates me. Great job, Ty. I'll take you to the wreckage. You better hop on. Okay. Looks like the wreckage is sunk to the bottom of the reef. On the way down, I... On the way down, keep a lookout for the Sea Dragon kids. I was out here looking for them because they've skipped school again. Okay, Ty, hold on to my scarf. We're going down. So they have actually just given him plot relevance for no discernible reason. He was just an Easter egg in the first... Like, in Ty 2 and Ty 3. Why isn't he here? Yeah, sea dragons are a kind of... They're a kind of seahorse. And yeah, you're right. This is just from the first game again. I really do think someone must have just watched a playthrough of Tie 1 and then gone, okay, now let's make Tie 4. As far as I can take you, Ty, the wreckage should be just up ahead. Hope you find them off to chase out the rest of the Sea Dragon kids. Ty, you made it. The wreckage is sunk and we need to get it back, to, back up to the surface. There's an emergency beacon somewhere down here. Find it and get it to the wreck so we can raise it back up to the surface. And now the arrow's back. Okay, so before that last level started, I wanted to make a quick comment about another thing that irritates me. They have removed the balancing from the boomerangs. Let me explain. In Tide of Tasmanian Tiger 1, you had the four, like, quintessential elemental boomerangs. You had the Thunderang, you had the Frostrang, I think it was, the Flamerang, and the Standard Boomerang. Standard Boomerang did okay damage. Flaming Boomerang did extra damage to enemies, but took longer to break crates. Blizzarang did very little, or Freezerang at the time, did very little damage to enemies, but froze them solid for a bit. In this game, the Blazerang breaks crates just as quick as the regular one and does more damage, so there's no reason to use the regular one unless you're facing an enemy that can't be hit with a fire attack, which I've seen a couple of those. But now they've also given me the Blizzarang, which not only also does decent damage, like as much as the standard Boomerang, it also freezes enemies in place, but... Like, the fact that it still does the same damage as the regular boomerang kind of offsets the whole point of freezing enemies in place in the first place, doesn't it? Like, at this point, that just makes it irritating. Why do I have to wait for an enemy to 
break out of the ice just so they can die immediately and drop opals. So essentially, the regular boomerang has become useless because if I find an enemy that is not weak to fire attacks, just use the fire boomerang. If I find one that is, just use the ice boomerang. Like, yeah, I played favorites with the other boomerangs in tie like, 1 through 3. The Deadly Rang in particular was my all-time favorite. But the fact that now the correct answer is use one of the elemental boomerangs, don't bother with the default one at all, just seems so weird to me. Also, in hindsight, I'm finding it kind of funny that I just never commented on game design details like those, like when I was playing through the games where they were mostly relevant. And then suddenly here, I'm acting like I'm a game design master or something. Like, uh, okay, that was annoying. Thank you. Thank you. I also have no invincibility shield, which, again, slightly irritating. That's true. I'll admit I don't need to have made a game to see when there's problems in a game, but it still strikes me as a little bit strange that I'm suddenly noticing all these issues, specifically in a game that I don't like. Okay. Do I actually need to break those, or is that just like an optional bonus objective or what? Also, I can't actually hit the jellyfish. And yet again, what does that button do? Whatever. Alright, thanks for tuning in. What do you have? Lanny's Restful Resort. No, I'm not doing that again. Alright, Robin, thanks for tuning in. Have fun. That must be what it happened. Now, was I seeing things, or did that enemy hit me when it was still retracted? Yeah, okay, that's not, that's not fair. so much bad enemy placement in this game. Everything just charges at me before I have it. See, what was that? That shark existed in the wall before I could see it.
is uh is there any reason for me to have gone this whole loop or also why is it so inconsistent with like is it inconsistent or am I no I think I'm just I think I'm at that point I'm starting to see more problems than are actually there I was gonna call the sharks out for being inconsistent and like, oh, some of them are big, some of them are small, but no, it does seem like they're big and small consistently. Like, you don't just randomly get ones that are different sizes in random places. I said random twice. Whatever. This game does things to my brain. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> I keep going in this loop. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. That shark blocks me off from using that upper route, so I presume I'm supposed to go up this way. I'm so confused. I'm very confused now. All the way down here at the bottom, we have what I presume is the shipwreck that we were looking for. Assuming we were even looking for a shipwreck in the first place, I can't interact with it at all. It's just there. So that's just there, which I presume means I'm not supposed to interact with it. Okay, got it. In which case, I need to head probably further over this way. But no, I can't make it over there. If there's even an over there to make it in the first place. So what am I supposed to be doing now? Doesn't do it. And there's this tunnel, which just leads me a little bit further back. Unless I was supposed to go over here. No, this is just a goo boo berry. My smile and optimism have been gone. Like, this just... Because, see, that arrow in the background, whenever we see those arrows in the first three games, they point us to where we're supposed to be going. So this one's pointing me this way, and that one's pointing me that way. So, okay, go up is what I'm getting from both of those. Go up. And then up, we have here. And here, we have an arrow pointing this way. So, okay, go this way. Just keep following the arrows. That's where I'm supposed to be going. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. 
and then there's just no arrows anymore. But there is, right here, this shipwreck that I feel like I've got to be doing something with. But there's no room for me to interact with it. I don't know, it's possible, but I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of glazed over this entire time, just getting through the level. And if there was something I was supposed to do with Rex first, I'd argue it's very, very poorly conveyed in its own right. Just because it doesn't seem like anyone indicated to me at all that I was supposed to do anything with Rex. All of the arrows are pointing me this way. And in every single tie game before this one, all the arrows are pointing you this way means go this way definitively. What does this even do? That just gives me a goo boo berry and now I'm dead. Nope, surprise. Yeah, the arrow was back, but it was pointing me to a goo boo berry. Which, okay, even more frustrating. Just kind of hit me. Ooh, okay, good luck. And I'm glad you had fun. Maybe you'll tune in for more of them. It'd be nice to have you. Sorry, I just need to take a moment and breathe. So, you remember how I went on a tirade, ha, tirade, about how the game by this point should be sh giving me directions to what buttons do? Especially if they're timed. Because none of them are showing me at all what it is they're unlocking, what it is they're turning off, that sort of thing. This one, specifically this one button, gave me an arrow over my head to accompany the time limit that told me exactly where to go to get the thing that it had temporarily unlocked. So... It does what I am asking it to sometimes. Very, very selectively, the game actually seems like it might know what it's doing as far as directions. Maybe this way? Was I supposed to be going this way the whole time? Don't know why I would be. No, that's just Lenny again. Let's just do the Lenny one. Why not? Now, I'm pretty sure I hit that guy. OK. 
Okay. So that was nothing except a bonus section. The game is fun. The game is a battle. If it's not fun, why bother? If it's not a battle, where's the fun? It's a test that you pass or a quest that you fail. A race against time. Fun and battle always locked together. But the game is also something else. It's a journey, a passport to the world. Maybe even an odyssey. A look, a feel, an exploration. Close your focus and open your mind. Yes, the journey requires the right ticket. And that ticket is Nintendo Switch. But in the end, it's not just where you can take your game. It's where your game can take you. So let's go. Uh, okay, so just arbitrarily, I just tried the mouse controls, and I can just... If I use the mouse, I can throw these directionally? Are you serious? So confused. What do I do here? Hold on. I actually need to look up a guide for this. It looks like the thing I'm trying to get is all the way back here. hidden somewhere in the depths of this maze.
Or maybe it is exclusively obtainable through that optional mission. You're right. Let me go really, really far. Like, let me go all the way back to the beginning of the level and see if there's someone I can talk to here. Hi, Rex. Got anything for me? No? Okay. I can't go back. Rex doesn't have anything to say to me. There we go. There's the device I presume I needed for this entire thing. Which, you know, thank you for putting that in a location where I never would have seen it if I didn't, like, take my time to explore the entire level, I guess? Really do love that those enemies can just hit me the minute they start attacking instead of me actually having to touch them. I really appreciate that. That's very, very... It adds challenge. So do I just take it here, or... Yeah, I do. Great job, Ty. Now let's find out what the wreckage can tell us. Hey, look, a note. Boat sinking. Gone out to put some prawns on the Barbie back in 15 minutes. Well, I guess they're not here. Duke will keep looking for them. I'll let you know if we find anything, Ty. Thanks a heap. Okay. How is there more? Why can't I just hit epilogue now? That's Gooboo Steve. Why the fuck is Gooboo Steve here? What? What epilogue does? I'm not hitting epilogue. Just... Oh dear, Ty. The alarm up at Julius' other observatory went off a couple of days ago. Ranger Ken went up there to investigate, but we've not heard from him since. I think you'd better get up there and find out what's going on. Shaz is up the mountainside. Find her and she'll take you from there. I just want this game to be done. I want this game to be over already. How is this game not over? How is there more to this game? Oh, there's the ninja again. I still don't know how to deal with him. What is with this Muzak? I suppose it's pro strats. What does that do? Once again, what does that button do?
Okay, I need to glide from there. Got it. And gliding from there does nothing for me. Cool. So this whole area was just completely optional then. I can't glide, so I just take no falling damage, but get a fall damage sound effect. And this isn't the right way either. That arrow's pointing me this way, so I assume this is the right way. And there's a dunny here, so this is the right way. Why... What's the deal with this guy? Oh, I'm supposed to hit him with ice. I'm glad that there was any indication via his character design to explain that I needed to use ice boomerangs to do any damage to him. No. I don't know what that's supposed to be for. Let's just move on. Hey, Possum, glad you made it. I'm really worried about Ranger Ken. There's more fires up ahead blocking the way, but I'm sure you'll be able to sort that out. I'll see you up there. Looks like the path up the mountain is blocked, Ty. You'll have to find another way up. Don't forget to use your blizzarang to help you out. That's really poorly conveyed. Oh no, you can't use this log as a platform until you hit it with your blizzarang. At which point the log freezes and becomes traversable. Yeah.
Okay. This one... Not great. Did I make it or not? I mean, I'm able to progress, so I assume I made it. Sly, where have you been? Why is Ranger Ken tied up? And why are you taking Julius' stuff? I've been putting up with you for too long, Ty. It's time that I got some of the glory, so I'm taking it. Now, rack off? Australia? Sly, I can't believe you're doing this. I'm going to stop you. Stop, Sly. I'm sure we can sort this out. Ty, help! And the observatory just says boom, I guess. Uh-oh, time to run. Oh, this is what we're doing now. Okay. Seems like kind of a mixed blessing if ever I've heard one. It's nice that my voice is nice to listen to, but not quite so much that it managed to put you asleep. Phew, that was a close one. Now to find Ranger Ken. And Sly. I can't believe Sly definitely for real betrayed us. Uh. Okay. I was very worried I'd Maybe just soft lock the game or something. Oh, well, that would be a contributing factor then, yeah. That charge windup takes just a little bit too long. That, or I'm just very, very bad at preparing for enemies to attack me. Which I suppose is also possible. I mean, definitely not. How could I possibly be bad at a video game? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Hooray. Now, I definitely did land on the ground, but okay. Oh, here we go with the chase section again. Eh? It's an observatory, apparently. Oh, I...
Yeah, it's a pizza. It's actually a pizza. If I say it's an observatory, it's really just a big pizza. That sounds fine. I got you, Ranger Ken. Ah, you may have rescued Ranger Ken, but you won't get the rest of it. So sorry, how did we rescue Ranger Ken? You still had him tied. Thanks, Kaba. I always thought there was something off about Sly. Looks like I was right. Come on, let's get back. <laughs> and there's no punctuation mark at the end there. <sighs> Ty, we've managed to track down Sly. He seems to be getting away on some kind of robo-crab tank. You better get out there and stop him before he does any more damage. And bring him back here safely if you can. Sly, I'm not going to let you just take all that. What, you think you can stop me? You're weak, Ty. <laughs> you spend too much time helping others and relying on your friends. I've finally come to my senses, and now I'm looking after one thing. Me. Don't get in my way, Ty. I'm taking my moolah. M moolah? Sly wouldn't say moolah. Not gonna happen, Sly. And I'm going to stop you with the help of my friends. Let's go, Bull. Okay. And they're just recycling music from Tai 1 now. Well, not quite recycling it. It's a remake. Okay, took no damage that entire fight. Explosion. That is horrifying. Uh, I don't know who's actually watching the stream and who's just listening, but if y'all could like turn back to the stream for a second, I need you to appreciate that we're getting a full front-on shot of Ty's face that actually looks worse than the... <laughs> Wow. Oh, that looks bad. I'm taking a picture of that. Sly's a robot too. Dun dun dun. Who's making all these robots? What do they want? And where's the real Sly? It has to be Boss Cass. I better get back and tell the rest of the Bush Rescue crew. This can't be good. Meanwhile... Curses, not only did I lose all that equipment, but now they know I'm up to something. I don't have much time. Time to initiate. Operation... I don't know how to pronounce that, actually. Chiolube? Hold on. Chicxulub Crater. Chicxulub Crater. That one says Chicxulub. Could fit 117 of these Arizona ones in it. The Chicxulub asteroid was responsible for... Chicxulub. So I'm hearing Chicxulub a lot. I'm just going to assume it's Chicxulub. Operation Chicxulub 2. And then he does an evil laugh, which is about 
what I expected. Ty, I have a new boomerang that might help you find Sly. The plasma ring. 1.22 gigawatts of electricity running through it, so be careful when you use it to zap things. You might want to wear some rubber-soled shoes. Time mate, I think we finally found those lost tourists. They're stranded on some islands out at Shark Cove. Duke's having trouble finding them, though, so we need you to light up the SOS signals. Head on out to Shark Cove. Light the signal, and let's bring them home. Home? Home? Whatever. Hey, Ty, the, si the signals in this area need to be lit up as an S. Could you light the correct signals with your plasma ring and give us a hand getting home? And we've got more music from Ty 1 remixed here. Here's a little fun nerd fact for you. The music that they're playing here on the soundtrack is erroneously titled uh, Ship Rex 2013. This is Rex Marks the Spot. This is a remix of Rex Marks the Spot from Taiwan. Let me actually pull up the soundtrack real quick and like mute the in-game audio. You need to start doing more stuff like this, just like taking quick asides to comment on stuff that I find interesting. So here's... where is it? Shipwrecks 2013. Sure seems like it. Right, okay, that's enough of that. Now from Taiwan, we have Shipwrecks. Which you'll notice is not at all the same tune. Right? And then by contrast, here's Rex Marks the Spot from Taiwan. Yeah, the didgeridoos are really neat. They've been a staple of Thai music from, like, Thai 1 through Thai 3. I don't know where they went in Thai 4. I've yet to hear any didgeridoo in Thai 4. Cool. 
You don't hear didgeridoos very often. Oh. Okay, I'm hearing a little bit of shipwrecks in the background there. Just a little tiny bit of shipwrecks in the background, but mostly this song is Rex Marks the Spot, so why did they call it Shipwrecks 2013? That's what I want to know. Okay, I do appreciate that. Uh, the new boomerang, I was wondering what was convenient about it, and the answer is those big enemies that we used to have to do a charge attack on, now we can just stun them outright. Oh, that is... That is nice, but I do also just want to take a moment and say that is the worst throwing animation. Like, just... He just spins his arm. It just spins. That's really not well done. Spin. Yes. Oh, it has an AoE effect too, so it hits more than one target at a time. I was actually going to say, but at the time it didn't feel right. Uh, it seems like all the elemental boomerangs in this game are just straight upgrades to each other, which is frustrating to me. I much prefer them being side grades to each other. Okay, so we got that one. Ah, that's the one we're missing. Let's head to the next island and find Keith. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. Hi, Ty. The signals in this area need to be set up as an O. Go ahead and light them up. Okay, so the last one was an S. This one's an O. What message are we trying to spell?
Oh, yeah, SOS. Duh. That's a good question. Actually, if we look at ties one through three, we shouldn't be able to use any boomerangs aside from the aqua rangs underwater. Those are the only ones Ty's ever had for underwater combat in Ty 1 through Ty 3, and then suddenly he can just use the correct boomerangs, like whatever boomerangs he wants underwater here in Ty 4. Which, I'm not going to complain, because that means I get to use all my overpowered boomerangs underwater, but it's, again, very weird inconsistency compared to the rest of the series. Now, both of those did hit that guy. This is why we need invuln shields, guys. This is why they gave me the temporary invulnerability shield every time I got hit in the first three games. Not really sure why you decided to just take that away. Yeah, CogChamp's still here. I wouldn't want to get rid of it at this point. Like, this... This game deserves some CogChamps. It's got to have something. It needs to have something going for it. That is such a screwy noise. I'm trying to make an O, and I only found two generators. Oh my gosh. Hey, Josh, world's tiniest spider, can you come save it? Okay, sorry about the interruption there. baby spider needed rescuing. Yep, I know. I've only found two out of four. I'm looking for the other ones right now. Maybe down here? Probably not, but, I mean, there's more opals down here at least, so... May as well. Oh, there's one down here. What do you know? Coconuts. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I don't really have a say in it now. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna fail the quest because I had no idea where I was going. Okay, all I wanted to do was hit that. Just hit that. Was hit that. There. Is that gonna come back down? That's not gonna come back down, is it? Okay. Corker, look at those signals. Light up the sky. Come on, Ty, just one signal to go. We've got like four minutes before the stream's supposed to end, but I just wanna keep going until I'm done with this section. I guess, hypothetically, I could keep going for another hour and maybe be done with the game by then, but, oof. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna keep playing for another hour. It is, it's gonna be a long, frustrating hour, but... The alternative is that next stream we only have, like, an hour of this game, and then I have to fill the other two with an abrupt change to Minecraft, so I'm just gonna finish the game here. Ty, I can almost make out the landing area. I just need one last S to be able to pick them all up. No worries, Duke, I'm all over it. Okay, that guy still needs ice, got it. Again, game just hiding sharks in places where I can't possibly see them until they've already hit me. And again...
gross job, Ty. I'm on my way in. Tally ho. Quick, everyone, get to the chopper. Well done, mate. The tourists are safe and heading back home. Now, I better have a bit of a chat to Sneath and Keith about their tourism business. I think it might be time for them to take a break from it. Probably a good idea, Rex. Next time, they might get really lost. So there is a 100% ending, huh? So the game just crashed. Okay, back in we go. Good news, it did save our progress after buying the Doomerang, so we've lost absolutely no progress at all. I guess just don't scroll through costumes too quickly. I've got to try that again, actually. I need to see if that replicates. Nope, it was nothing to do with me scrolling through costumes. All right. Uh, I think he was at his peak here. I'm going to wear this one. Ty, there's a bunch of trouble going down at Damp Tree Falls. A bunch of total drongos are trying to knock down all the trees to build a new football stadium. It's all a bunch of malarkey, if you ask me. Head down there and stop those galahs before they destroy everything. There's two crab dozers tearing through this area, mate. I've tried to get them to stop, but they won't listen to me. Sergeant Bluey says to stop them, however you can. I'm on it, Ranger Ken. Uh, this song, I think, was actually recycled from Tai 2. Okay, so this doesn't explode anymore. Alright. Fossil collector? Alright. So while we're on the subject, or at least close to the subject, of this p specific song, is it fair of me to say it's a little bit scummy of them for their uh, launch trailer on Steam to use the Tie 2 version of this song, which does not appear in this soundtrack at all?
I don't know if scummy is an entirely fair word for it, but it's the first one that came to mind. Uh, yes. Great job, Ty. You better go over to the other side of the hill. Shezza, Shezza just called on the radio. There's more crab dozers there. I'm probably making an embarrassment of myself in front of any hypothetical Australian viewers. That's a turkey chase minigame. I don't need that. Remix isn't bad, but boy do I prefer the Tai 2 version. Hey, Possum. There's no time to lose. Another set of three crab dozers are tearing up this part of the rainforest. Something weird is going on, though. They're not just cutting down the trees, they're mining a heap of iron ore out of the ground, too. You better stop them quick. I know, hitboxes. Oh, you know. That definitely shouldn't have hit, but whatever. Hitboxes.
Hello? I definitely could not have made it there. I probably need a specific boomerang upgrade for that, and I'm just... I don't wanna. Yep, need to destroy all the crab dozers, I know. Great job, Ty, but there's still more to go. Quickly, get over to the waterfall and talk to Sergeant Bluey. Ty, glad you made it this far. There's another four crab dozers, and they're completely ignoring me when I'm trying to get them to stop. No shit. I've had enough. It's time to stop this for once and for all so I can get back to my bucket of dim sims? A Chinese-inspired meat and vegetable dumpling style snack food. That's not... that's nothing. What does that have to do with koalas? I'm on it, Sergeant Bluey. They won't get away with this. Man, this truly is the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice of Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. Okay, so it's not... Uh, so, Dim Sims and... Dim Sims, all one word, are a completely different thing. Why would he have a bucket of them? How does that work? How do you have a bucket of pizza? Oh, okay. That's... No, that... Makes sense, I guess. I guess. Not really... So it's not so much him being a koala as him being a cop is like, is that the reason he's even mentioning them at all? Like, I get that trademark favorite food does... I just got Mario carded really, really hard. And you know what would have solved that? Is if this game still let me have an invuln shield like the first three. Oh, that's actually kind of a fucking weird coincidence. I see. Great job, Ty. These guys won't be bothering us with their environmental vandalism again. But why were they doing this? Nobody believed that they were allowed to build a stadium here. 
I don't know, Possum, but I don't like it. I don't like all that iron ore. I'm just not going to bother with the accent unless I'm really confident in my impressions. And I don't like all that iron ore they were mining. And look at this. Made in Casablanca, says the scrap metal, but Cass with two S's, so Boss Cass, haha, <laughs> funny. Boss Cass again, what is he up to? I've got a bad feeling about this, Ty. Keep on looking for Sly while I try to figure out what Cass's plan is. Oh, this scrap of metal has some astounding properties. Does it? Tell us more, please. Give us something. Give me a moment, need more need to drink more water. Hi Possum, the town of Dinkum is completely run out of water. Both of its water supplies have dried right up. Can you get out there and see what's happened and give them a hand? No worries, Shaza, I'm on it. Hey son, things are getting a bit parched around here. We have a whole bunch of windmills, but none of them working anymore. They probably need some kind of kickstart. Can you hit them with your plasma ring and give them a bit of a boost? No problems, Dad. Now, why no problems? Why, why not no problem, singular? Whatever. I feel like I've done all the actual, like, criticism I can possibly provide here, and at this point everything else I have to say is just little bits of nitpicking more than anything. It's gripe-worthy, but there's a point at which it's just a bit silly for me to go on complaining about every little thing. I found another thing to nitpick. Sorry. Uh, the guys with the cricket bats in the first three games, I'm assuming three, I don't actually remember if they showed up in tie three at all, but in all the other games where they appear, if you bite them, it removes their tail and they start running around panicking a little bit. Like, bite. And his tail's removed now, but he doesn't do anything. He just keeps up his regular attack pattern. Just a little bit of life that got sucked out of the game, I guess. Good job, son. It really is strange that the windmills all stopped at once. Head on over to the other side of town. Your mom is waiting for you there. Hi, love. It's good to see you. Wish we could take time to have a cuppa and a, cuppa and a scone, but there's work to be done. There's a bunch more windmills that we need to get started again to get the water flowing. Be a darl and run around and get them going for me. Sure thing, Mom. You know, it would have been pretty darn cute to have Ty actually interact with his parents at all on screen, instead of just having them be arbitrarily chosen quest givers like everyone else that shows up in this game.
Weird and very much out of nowhere question. Does anyone else remember Hot Wheels Stunt Track Driver? For some reason that game just popped into my head. that game, but I never managed to beat it. Can't even remember where it is I kept getting stuck at, come to think of it. Hey, I found the first generator, finally. Went through the whole level and only found one. I used to own it. I don't know what happened to my copy of it. I don't really miss it or anything. It's just... I guess I'd like to know where it went. And maybe see if I could beat it this time around. I don't think I ever made it to the final level. Never mind the secret level. I didn't know that was a thing at all. You can tell a game's good because it's got me talking about completely different games that are much more interesting than it. Roll away. I'm not familiar with that one. Did I just get an achievement for gliding? Oh. That sounds kind of fun. Great work, Ty. That's the last of the windmills, but the water still isn't flowing. Head over to the other side of town. Shaz is waiting there, and she thinks she knows what the problem is. Okay. Ty, you'd better get a move on, Possum. I know what's going on here. Shutting the windmills down was just a diversion. There's a whole group of frills, blue tongues, and other nasties trying to take the main water pipe to pieces. You need to get out there and take them out, and repair the water pipe before the town of Dinkum dies of thirst. Sure thing. probably do that after this stream is over. Oh, too close. No? Okay. Thank you. 
Come on. I can get that. There we go. And now I've just got one more to look for. I can't make that jump. Go Ty, you were great out there. Aw oh, shucks, Shazza, it was nothing, just doing my job. Well, you've saved Dinkum, and now we can all have a nice cold shower to wash off this dust. And you can both stay and have a nice home-cooked meal, too. I just wish we knew where your brother was, Ty. Speaking of which, look at what I found in the junk left over from these bad guys attacking the town. Held hostage, help me, Sly. Don't worry, Mom, we'll find out where he is and get him back. Okay, so... We've figured it out. That note from Sly, it's on the same type of metal used in the Crab Dozer. He's being held captive in Casablanca. There's no way Castle let you onto his private resort island. You're going to have to sneak in to rescue Sly. And I just happen to know the way. Go through, go through to this wonderful little beach at Large Pale Point, just past Danger Spike. Then you can swim your way into Casablanca. But you've got to be quick. You only have 60 seconds to make it through? Ty, Ty, wait. I made this boomerang from the scrap of metal we found. I call it the Infinerang. It's showing some signs of chronofluorescence. What does that mean? What does it do? I have no idea. You'll have to make time to find out. I get it. Boss Cass is closing down all the entrances to Casablanca. By my estimates, you've only got 60 seconds to make it in. This is as far as I can take you. You'll have to make it the rest of the way there yourself. No worries, mate. I've got it covered. Yeah, it does look a little bit like Alien X, doesn't it? And this just kind of feels like Cass's pass from uh, Taiwan. Okay. I really don't like this. Sly, is that really you? Are you okay? Ty? You took your time getting here. You're almost too late. Cass has outfitted this entire island with magneticons. I don't know why, but he keeps talking about getting rid of you once and for all. You better get in there and stop him. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Cass, I don't know what you're up to, but it ends here. Ah, if it isn't Ty, the troublesome rat. No, I can't do it. I don't know what you stole those magneticons for, but I'm pretty sure you're up to no good. No kidding. 
Then I guess you should know, before I rid myself of you and your warm-blooded kin for good, I plan to operate all the Magneticons as one single unit. A Mega Magneticon! Oh no, that was Ty talking, alright. Yes, exactly my moronic orange adversary, and I'm going to focus all their magnetic power on a single object. An asteroid which I'll use to wipe out all the warm-blooded interlopers that took the rightful place of my ancestors. While I and my cold blood empire are safely protected in this island bunker, I call it Operation Chicxulub 2. For too long I've been content with just trying to rid myself of you. I'm afraid that your friends at Bush Rescue aren't going to like this, but tough. Now watch as I use the power of the Magneticons to rip an asteroid from the sky and rid myself of mammals once and for all. Is this... this is... <laughs> I've got to say, this is a pretty contrived plan. It's time for reptiles to rise again and rule the world! Okay. Loser. Man, it doesn't even sound like... Like, they got someone to do the laugh there, but that doesn't sound like Boss Cass. Are you there? Boss Cass has used my Magneticons to destabilize the orbit of an asteroid. He's pulling it straight down on top of us. You have to get all the Magneticons and disable them before it's too late. Okay, where are they? Okay, there's one. There's two. And there's three. Oh no, it's about to hit. Yikes. Crash. Ha ha ha! It's all over, rat. This time I've won. Julius? Shazza? We're okay, Ty. The asteroid landed safely just outside of Kularanga. You did it. You saved everyone. No! Blah, blah, blah. My plan foiled again. How can one mammal be so troublesome? You've saved your friends, Ty, but nothing will save you. Oh, he's back. Okay. So he's basically just going to be a jerk about this, huh? Haha. <laughs> oh, I just needed to hit him again. Okay. That's it. I've had enough. Did the music just stop? Time for plan B. I'm going to put Casablanca on ice for a few thousand years. By the time we wake up, you'll be long gone, and the planet will bask in our cold-blooded glory. What? Yeah, Cass, don't do that. Goodbye, you meddling orange eyesore. Ty, what's happening? The island's temperature is drapping, rap drapping rapidly. Hello. I beat Caspi. He's going to freeze the entire island for a thousand years. You bet. You better get out of there. Duke is on his way. Righto. And yeah, there's supposed to be music playing, and it's just not. I've got you, Cobber. Thanks, mate. Let's go home. Well, it looks like you've taken care of Boss Cast for good. 
I doubt that's the last we'll see of Cass, all right, but he'll be out of our hair for a while, at least. Sure, but what are we going to do about this? I don't know. But the view sure is pretty. The end. That was just it. Really? That can't have just been it. Like, hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone, that can't have been it. I'm not sad that it's over, I just... What's the epilogue? Gubu Steve has special delivery package for you. You want? Okay, me give you it. But no, me cannot. They say you need to pay lots of thunder eggs before me can give? Me just stay here and drink some Gubu juice in the shade while I wait. Bye-bye. Okay, so I can't see the epilogue. And... Oh god, do I care enough? I don't. Oh, really? That's all it is? Okay, hold on. I found a video. Let's see, how do I get this to work? Yeah, like, what the fuck? It's over so quickly. That's not it. Budget cash grab is a very good way to put it, yeah. Okay, hold on. I think I've figured out the workaround. Modules, turn media share back on. Okay, let me just turn audio off real quick. And... And it's not showing. Can 
Come on. Oh, maybe that's why. Hold on. Now let's see if that works. Yeah, okay, there we go. No audio for some reason, but oh, there we go. So here's what you get for 100% of the game. And that's it. That's just it. Your reward for 100% in the game is a little extra clip that might indicate there's a tie 5 in the works, or might not, who knows for sure. Okay, well, Are y'all still hearing the music? Okay. That's real interesting that y'all are still hearing the music because I don't have the game open. I don't have the game open. And the music's still playing. Well, that was a three hour, 47 minute stream to beat Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 4. And we did beat Ty 4. Uh, Ari, for the record, you asked who the heck is that? Uh, that was, let me actually just pull out the pictures again. Cause I saved a couple pictures. I don't know what her actual name is, but the name of the game she's from is Blade Kitten, and she is a character that Chrome Studios made when they were quote-unquote done, I guess, with Ty. She's from an Xbox Live Arcade series that I think got a whopping two chapters, and the second one was released on Steam. I don't know if the game's any good. I've never tried it. A friend of mine suggested I give it a shot. I just... Right now, I don't have any plans to but maybe in the future I don't know and I guess once you get 100% completion you unlock her as a playable skin and it looks uh, uh, it looks looks uh 
but uh looks uh it uh it looks All right. <laughs> Me repeating it looks over and over again is not good content. I'll tell you what is good content ending this stream cuz we just we did it. We beat tie 4 in one day. Has that fixed the hearing the game music issue at least? Like I just hit mute on desktop audio. Are y'all still hearing it, or are we at least good on that front? Okay. Uh, well, I can still hear it, but as long as I can spare y'all. Uh, that was Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 4. I beat it in one go. I don't know if I'm happy about it or not. I did not like Tie 4. I absolutely didn't like that. That was nothing. That was a nothing game. That was... Early on in the stream, I don't remember who, but someone described it as feeling very much like a free fan flash game, and I can totally see that. The puppets were not rigged very well, the animation was nothing, there was no voice acting at all, the music was bare bones, the level design wasn't great, the rang design wasn't very interesting, it felt like they were actually over-designed, if I'm being honest with myself. The game crashed while I was playing, which I don't think has happened with any of the other Thai games I've played. Uh, the switch from 3D to 2D was not a good move, and I'm... bummed, honestly, that that's where the series ended up going. It... Thai 3, I didn't like very much, but I would play that one over this one in a heartbeat. Still... We're done with the TIE series for now. If they ever make a TIE 5, I would need to see it in 3D before I can make any comments one way or the other. One and done, at least, so it's not like the torment lasted very long. I was worried it was going to be a lot longer than that. What an underwhelming boss. Just what an underwhelming game in general, actually. And Fluffy was canonically just dead. That was a robot. That wasn't the real Fluffy, even, so... That plot thread from TIE 3 got dropped altogether. This was not TIE 4 in anything more than name, and the only reason it's named that is because it was a cash grab. When they first released it, it was just called TIE the Tasmanian Tiger, and it was on the Windows Store, and then they put it on Steam and rebranded it TIE 4. Not fun. Didn't like it. Glad we're done with it. Looking forward to moving on to Minecraft uh, this, what'll it be, Sunday? That'll be fun. Or at least it'll be more fun than this. And then after that, we're going to be starting on Terraria. Finally. We tried that one a while ago. It didn't work out. I'm going to be playing on Journey Mode this time instead of Master Mode to make things a little bit more enjoyable. But yeah, that'll be that. And until then, thank you all for tuning in for the Thai Saga. I'm sorry it got worse as time went on. I was expecting it to be a little bit more entertaining around... If not Tie 3, then at least Tie 2, but that one, for as much as I do enjoy that one ultimately, I also know that there was very little to talk about. Um, probably in the very near future going to be uploading as many archived episodes of this whole stream as I can to YouTube so that I can get them off of my hard drive. I'm not entirely sure what the channel will be called, but I'll be starting a stream archiving channel Probably just uploading them in the same three to four hour chunks that I've already been doing. Not exactly the best plan. I know folks probably won't want to tune in for a full three hour YouTube video of someone being okay at Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, that'll be it for this stream. Sorry it ran almost, uh, almost an hour over the line. Uh, next series, I don't know for sure. I'm thinking either Sonic or maybe Halo. But the next game I'm doing will be Terraria. That's the next big game. Like, that's the next multi-parter. 
But next stream... Next stream is just going to be uh, Minecraft. So that'll be nice. That'll be kicking back and relaxing a bit. I've never played a Starfy game. I know next to nothing about Starfy, except that the character design looks kind of cute. But yeah, that'll be it for this stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, enjoy the next four days. And enjoy the rest of your life never having to play another tie game again or see another one get played. I'm being a little bit hyperbolic about that, but tie 4 left such a bad taste in my mouth. At least it's over. Thank you all again for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll hopefully catch you all this Sunday for the Minecraft stream. Until then, take care. <laughs>